O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Express your own divinity. Always do your best. You don't need to accept it. You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you and express yourself and express your own divinity by being alive, loving yourself, and loving others. My God, guys, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down at 430. We have the NASDAQ off 299. S&Ps are down 71. Gold contract up a buck 60, trading out at 19.09 an ounce. We have silver up 21 cents, $24. $24.52 cents an ounce. Light sweet crew down 16 cents, $91.75 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note down four ticks, trading 126.10. The 30-year off 10 ticks at 152.21 in King Dollar. King Dollar is up 159 ticks, trading 96.183. Euro 113, yen 114.94, and the British pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? And the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, let's, let's, we'll take a look at the SPY first. It's making its way to the high-volume low here. The Qs have taken out the high-volume low, and you can have lighter volume, so you don't have an ABC structure down. That being said, these, the SPY is going after it. That's 420.76. You're at 422.40. I, I don't think you're going to get it today, but more than likely what you're going to see here is that, uh, <laughs> which is not great, uh, the bottom line is you get down there. If we close at the lows of the day, you'll jump the creek, man. And on the spy jumping the creek, it looks to me like the way this thing is set up right now. 427, you broke that. 479, man, that's 60 bucks. Okay. If I take, that gives you 350, man. Where's 350? Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you want to be careful in this market, folks. Okay, so looking at the SPY right now, right, the way this is set up is that this market looks to me like the SPY is going to go down to 350 at 422. Where I'm getting that, folks, this is what I'm doing. This is where I'm getting this, okay? You take that, when you, when you do something like this, meaning, you know, we, we go higher, go higher with a lot lighter volume, right? We know we have highs with lighter volume, and you know we have volume off the high. So volume off the high, number one, all, not always, nothing's always in the marketplace, but probability-wise, very high probabilities, when you have volume off the highs, you have a much larger correction than normal. So we broke the consolidation. So the way this works is that you can take the bottom of the consolidation. Well, here, let's 427. Let me get this right. 427.23. So 427.23 is the bottom. Your high, I'll just take 472. Just to, it's so you get five forty-five bucks, and then you take forty-five. Okay, so that's no, that's still three eighty. Well, let's get it correctly. Four twenty-seven. You get two. You got seven three seventy-two. Let's see where three seventy-two is. Three seventy-two. Three fifty-eight. Yeah, there's not there's not much at three seventy-two. I th you know what? Get prepared, man. This thing, this thing, this is going to be pretty intense, man. This thing wants to come back to this, the beginning of the whole run, man. Whoa, baby. This would be back to August of 2020. Let's go to the NDX 100 and take a look. And you know how this works, folks, okay? The bottom line is that what you get is that the, you know, you take an escalator up and the elevator down in the marketplace. That's how it goes. So if we take a look at the queues... <clears throat> There's going to be a lot of money lost here, man. We take a look at the Qs. Okay, so what is that consolidation? So the Qs, the next stop in the Qs are four, 297. You get 324, you'd get something going. I suspect 297 is game. And 303, yeah. Now, what's going to get interesting here is this. 
the when you take a look at the Qs versus the SPY, it looks like the Qs could very well get a lot more support at the 300, which back to September of 2020, versus the SPY, which is May of 2020. Either way, man, that's going to be a hit and a half. Well, let's see what kind of a hit this is. One second. So if we go right there, let me just see what this is. Kind of, this is like a retracement and a half, man. There you go. Let's do that. Oh, man, look at that. Well, you know what? This is a... It, that's that's a normal retracement, man. Uh, when you take the lows of March to where we were, a 50% retracement is 287. That's, you know, I know that sounds insane that that can be a normal retracement, but guess what? That can be a normal retracement in the marketplace. That's, that's the reality. Gold. Take a look at the gold market here. Now, gold's in the confirmed ABC structure up. The, it's 101 A to B equals C to D. Um, we'll see. But, you know, it's, it's hanging tough. There's no doubt about that. That price projection is 1946, and right now you're at 1909. We go over to the dollar, we take a look at the dollar. What we have with the dollar right now, uh, that's trading up 159.9618, and then we go into the bond market. We take a look at bonds, and bonds are down five ticks. I mean, when you, when you have it, <laughs> the bonds are going to continue lower with higher yield, okay? When you have a market, folks, that is down over 2.5% every day, and bonds can't catch a bid. We're down 2.3. That, that's telling you how weak bonds are. So the bottom line is that um, bonds want to go a lot lower. Some of the other higher volume equities we have in this market out here today, which is, by the way, is not going to be a high volume market. It doesn't look it. You got uh, Facebook off uh, three and a half dollars. You got American Airlines down 75 cents. Carnival's off a buck 20. Uh, Tesla's down 55 bucks. Uh, Kodak Sciences, this was a gaff anyway. It's down $40. If you remember this, this was this is the old Kodak, okay? Bottom line, they <laughs> they got all the way up to $137. It's trading 10 bucks right now. At this thing, it, it, you know what? So what you have to get out of all of this, folks, is that, yeah, if we can go back five months, three months, whatever, every single day it would never go down, right? Bottom line, you get pieces of paper that weren't worth the writing that's on them. And what you're seeing now is the price destruction because of that fact. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.